I have a wonderful practice. You know, I'm a um, I'm a I'm an aesthetic surgeon. Uh, I'm a facial plastic surgeon. You know, there are all these sort of little labels or terms <laughs> that 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 are, I I think sometimes thrust upon me. Um, but you know, if I was to give myself my own label, you know, I would really say that I'm a I'm an I'm an aesthetic evangelist. You know, that's 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 promoting a sort of new kind of African inspired, you know, healing brand of beauty. And it's a brand of beauty that has a universal application. A lot of times when we think about that which has a cultural context, we sometimes think that it alienates other folks, but that's not the case. And one of the wonderful things about um, my practice is that it does have a sort of African sensibility but that African sensibility has a universality to it. And if we go far enough back, we can recognize and understand that modern civilization, you know, arose from Africa. So in a certain sense, we all have that sort of African identity, <laughs> you know, within us. We just haven't sort of celebrated it all or actually recognized it. So, you know, my practice is a wonderful practice because it deals with these ideas of beauty. It deals with these ideas of celebrating aesthetic diversity. And we use modern techniques and modern tools to do it. So whether it's a rhinoplasty, you know, a, a, surgery, a surgery for sort of reshaping the nose, you know, whether it's hair transplantation or even the little injections like the Botox and the fillers, you know, we do a little bit of all of that. Um, but we're able to do it in a manner where when people walk in, they know that this is not simply, you know, beauty for beauty's sake. Uh, this is a doorway where your attraction and your desire to be beautiful really allows you to go to a place where you can achieve a true holistic sense of yourself and really ideally tap into that reason why you're here on this earth and really be able to use that beauty energy to, you know, fuel health and well-being to fuel your sense of identity so that you can do some good things and impact humanity in a meaningful way. So I got a great practice, you know, both from the standpoint of my day-to-day -day and how I'm able to interact with patients, both using skills and gifts that I have, but really allowing people to sort of tap into their own unique skills and gifts to be able to deliver it and do it in a manner that, that helps the world.